Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we are going to take a deep dive into the upcoming super full moon lunar eclipse that's occurring on September 17th or 18th, depending on where you live in the world. So we're going to take a look at each life path number to see how these energies could affect you in the months that follow. Remember that an eclipse opens us up to a storyline or a new chapter that will likely unfold over the coming six months to a year. So this is a progressive energy that we'll be working with, but at the time of the eclipse, we should have a pretty good indication of what that storyline is. This particular eclipse, I love the energy that we're going to be working with. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very supportive. So I'm really looking forward to breaking down each life path number. Um, One thing that I wanted to introduce with this moon reading uh, is the animal wisdom messages, but they're going to be a little bit different than what I do for the the month ahead. Um, What I wanted to do is for the illumination is offer sort of a mantra word that you can use that's going to be driven by one of the animal uh, spirits that come through. So it's not going to be quite as detailed as the month ahead uh, animal wisdom messages, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring those in as well. Uh, And what better time to start than a super full moon lunar eclipse? Yay! Before we get into it, if you're listening on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Uh, For some reason with the algorithm, a lot of times the only way you're going to know if if I release a video is if you've hit the bell, and then you'll be sure to be notified when uh, that video is released. The other thing is, of course, this is a general forecast. So if you want to take a look at your own personal numerology to get the best idea for how these vibrations and, you know, your own personal numerology are working for you, then the best way to do that is, of course, to have a reading and you can book some time with me. My information is in the description box below if you choose to do that. Okay, enough housekeeping. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness, Life Path Fives, can you feel the energy? (laughs) You all are going to be working with such beautiful, big energy for this eclipse. I'm loving it. You're going to be working with the vibration of the 22-4. When this comes in as a cycle, this is a master number. And so this does not, this is kind of that kind of energy where it's like, go big or go home type of energy. This is that one where it's like, maybe you've wanted center stage. Well, this is the energy that puts you there type of thing. And sort of says, um, show us what you've got type of thing. So, and this is foundational energy. So this is something that is hopefully going to uh, bring in some greater sense of uh, security, um, stability, that sort of thing. That sort of thing can also be, um, you know, building something that that is going to be kind of a legacy or stand the test of time or you sharing your wisdom in some way that is truly, truly foundational and has the potential to change not only your life, but the lives of others as well. This is big energy. Uh, Usually when people move through cycles of the 22-4, it's their time to shine. Like they've put in the work, they've put in the effort, and now, now is their time to showcase um, what they've learned, what they've achieved, what they've they've built, right? And to, to share that with others in some way. Um, and again, this is a general reading, so it can come in in just about any way, right? However it needs to for you. But usually when we move through a 22-4 cycle, it, things pick up, things become very, very busy. Uh, we are sort of pushed in our, we are pushed so far outside of our comfort zone, but it's not in a, it's in a way that can feel exhilarating because it not only does it feel like it's outside of our comfort zone, but it also feels very much aligned with our sole purpose and what we're meant to be doing or what we feel like we're meant to be doing, what we want to be doing. And this gives us the platform to showcase our, our abilities, our gifts, that sort of thing. It's big, big energy in that sense. Um, very supportive energy for us to kind of get the green light <clears throat> to move forward on something that is really near and dear to our heart. So this is sort of like, especially at the beginning, because remember, this is an eclipse. And so again, I say to have this vibration, to have this cycle, at the heart of an eclipse, 
is just massive, massive. I mean, this has the, this has the potential to be very pivotal and life transforming for so many of you with this vibration. Now, remember the energy can be there. It's what we choose to do with it. That makes the difference. So keep that in mind. Um, and because it's for energy at the heart of this, uh, it's going to require your effort, right? And commitment and perseverance. Uh, but so much of that has already been done, right? A lot of times when we hit that 22 four cycle, we've already done the work, we've already put in the effort, we've already been striving to achieve what we wanted to achieve. Now is our, our chance to step into that fulfillment, right? And to see the rewards of that. But with that comes a lot of responsibility. Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you've been talking yourself up to people for years, now you're going to have the opportunity to showcase that to prove to sort of the proof is in the pudding type of thing. The 22 four is going to say, you've got to now back up what you've been saying, right with whatever it is that you've been putting out into the world. <clears throat> and you'll likely have an opportunity to do that. And so for, for some of you, it could be you land the job of your dreams. And you know, it can feel so far outside your comfort zone, because for, for a while, it's going to be new. Uh, but you're more than equipped to handle it to figure it out to make it happen type of thing. For some of you, it could be a new relationship because you've got double twos. Um, and it could be a very serious relationship, like that one that leads to moving in together or marriage or, you know, whatever, <clears throat> uh, starting a family together type of thing. It just whatever it is, it could also be you with some kind of health plan that you want to do for yourself, right? Where you um, feel better and in your own skin and feel healthy and all those things. Um, there's so much, there's so many ways it could come in. So I'm not going to try to list all of them, but uh, it's big, it's big energy, but it's definitely something you've been putting the effort into. And now is your time to shine with it and to really show people what it's about, right? <clears throat> if that, if that equates, right? Like if that's relevant. Um, but yeah, big energy. So you could see things really pick up at this time and be really fast. But this is such beautiful energy because it's sort of like the life force or the inspiration right before the manifestation, right? Especially at the beginning of this eclipse. So you have like all of this life force energy that's just waiting to be like dispersed, right? And you've taken your inspiration and you've turned it into something and now is the time for it to become tangible and for the world to see it. That's the kind of energy that this is. It's so big. Um, something absolutely wants to be birthed right now, whether it's a project, it could be a, a literal child, it could be an idea, whatever. But there's something here that, um, you know, this this vibration of the 22-4 always reminds us that we will never reach the limit of our potential. I'm going to say that again. We will never reach the limit of our potential. So the point is to dream big and to keep going, right? And then once we create whatever it is we're trying to create, we can share that. We can showcase it to the world. And hopefully it will be some kind of greater resource and have an a impact of good in the world. This is absolutely a vibration for reaching your goals, for success on a massive scale. All of that is possible under this vibration. And again, remember, it's an eclipse. So this is a storyline likely over the next six months to a year. Um, with most of the vibrations, you know, you usually don't see like this big finale, like this big, like, you know, all the fireworks and all the, the big parade and all of that, right? But with a 22-4 energy, this is the vibration with that most potential where you really could get all that fanfare from something, right? And again, general reading. So, but with this cycle and with it happening in an eclipse, there's absolutely the possibility for big things to happen for you now. And you're not going to feel prepared for it. You're not going to feel ready when it comes in. But your job is to simply say yes to it and to again, go big or go home because it's that kind of energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Now remember eclipses are progressive. So you likely will have an indication of what this is early on, but you won't necessarily see it fully unfold or necessarily see that fanfare and all of the, the, the big celebration until we get closer to the tail end of this, this vibration, this cycle. 
uh, which again depends, but could be six months to a year. So just keep that in mind. Now for you all, your uh, word or sort of mantra for this um, eclipse is bear energy, which is leadership. So definitely, definitely, definitely leadership energy with this four, 100% and this 22 four, 100%. And that can be a little scary, but it will definitely pay off, definitely pay off. So wherever it is that you have fear of that leadership vibration, this is going to be the next six months to a year to really embrace it and prove to yourself what you're capable of and then show others, right? So yeah, love this energy fives. I hope it's a great one. I think it will be. Take care. Bye for now.